Hey, what's going on guys? Jason here. So this is part two of the React movie project series. And so in the last video, we basically went over how to set up the React project and also get our API key. So in this uh, part two video, what we'll be doing is we'll be setting up materialized CSS and we'll also create a couple components. So we'll create the nav, uh, the nav bar component and also the search area component. So let's get into it. All right, so first thing we'll do is we will install materialize uh, CSS. Uh, let's see. So I'm here on materialize uh, CSS website. So if you wanna check out the URL, it's materialize CSS, uh, dot com slash getting started. And so what we'll be doing is we'll go ahead and go to the CDN section. And whoops, let's see. So we'll go ahead and grab the compiled minified CSS link tag here. And we'll go back and then we'll go to public index. And we'll go ahead and include that in here. There we go. All right. So save that, that's good, all right. So let's go back to our project. As, and as you can see, we are already seeing a change in our font here. All right, okay, cool, that looks good. All right, so now I'm going to create the nav component. So inside the components uh, folder, we'll go ahead and create a file, so we'll do We'll call this nav.js. All right, cool. And then we will go ahead and import. Let's see, import React from React. And then this component will be a functional component. So we'll do const nav equals a arrow function, cool. And then we'll return a nav. Oh, so actually, uh, yeah, so it'll be a nav. And then in here, I'll create a div with a class of nav wrapper dot container. So this is some Emmet shortcut. All right, cool. So these, uh, so this class or these classes are coming from the uh, nav, or I'm sorry, the materialized CSS uh, framework. So if you go here and you go to, let's see, nav bar, you can see that we're using uh, this nav bar here, nav, uh, I'm, I believe we're using, yeah, nav wrapper. And I'm just adding this container class to give it a container so it's uh, positioned properly. All right, so then now I'll go ahead and add a link here. So we'll do, let's see, and we'll give it a class name of brand logo. And then we'll do movie finder. All right, let's go back. Okay, so we're not seeing anything because we need to, let's see, we actually need to include the component in our app.js. So if we go in here, we'll go import nav from, we'll do, let's see. Nav, all right. And I also have to export this component. So we'll do export default nav. All right, I believe that looks good. And now in here, we will go ahead and write out this nav uh, component. So that looks good. Let's go ahead and go back. And there is our nav bar looking good. All right, cool.
So next thing we will do is we'll create our search area or search box component. So again, I'm going to create another component here. We'll call it search box. Uh, I'll call it search area. There we go. All right, and in our search area component, we'll go ahead and import React from React. And this will be a functional component. So we'll do All right, and we'll be returning some JSX. Okay, cool. All right, so now we'll create our div. So we'll do div.container for the outer container. And then we'll do another div. Whoops, give this one a class of row. Cool. And I'll create a section with some classes. So section will have a few classes. So we'll have section.com or call.s4 offset dash four. All right, cool. And so these classes are from materialize CSS from its uh, grid. Uh, grid classes. So if we go back here, we can go to, let's see, grid. As you can see, this uh, it has a uh, 12 column uh, grid here. So we can create a row. And in the row, we can create uh, multiple columns by giving it the call class. And then we can um, choose to how or set it to be a certain width depending on how many uh, columns you have so in this case this one will have a width of uh, one for a 12 column uh, row and you can see different patterns here so in this row we have a div with a column that spans out the uh, the whole uh, row 12 columns and then we have another column that will span out six. And then below that, there's another one that spans out six. So that's why we get this uh, layout there. And then we have offsets here that we're using. So uh, this will basically uh, give you, allow you to um, move the column in a certain uh, direction by giving it an offset. So cool, we have that, All right? So now I'll create a form and in here I will add a div, give this a class of input field and in here we'll add an input and in this input We'll give it a, let's see, placeholder. And let's give this a placeholder of search movie. All right. And let's see, I think we're good there. And so this input field is also from materialize CSS to give it some uh, default styling. All right. So that looks good. So we'll do an export default of search area. Save that. And in our app.js, we will let's see, go ahead and import search area from search area. And then we'll go ahead and add search area, oh, that doesn't work. Search area there, all right. All right, let's see what we got, go back. All right, cool, so we got our search area there. Uh, it's not quite centered though, the way I want it to be, so let's 
go back and see what we need to change. So, home as for offset. Oh, I believe I had a, I forgot to add an S here. There we go. All right, there we go. Now it's uh, centered a little bit better there. Uh, that works. Oh, let's see how it looks if I do three. Um, I'll just leave it at four. That's fine. All right, cool. So we have our nav component and now we have our search area component. So I think that would be a good stopping point. And yeah, so in the next video, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and go into setting up the uh, API request to the MovieDB uh, API and uh, adding some functionality to handle that uh, submit on our uh, search area form. So, and we might go into other things. I'm still not sure yet, but, but yeah, so we'll for sure go into that in the next video. But yeah, so if you guys found this video helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more content like this, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for watching guys. Have a good day.